Hi everybody, I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to make the ladder star box in the Pollyanna Pickering collection. Um, there's some absolutely stunning artwork in there. You need to print this sheet three times. Basic instructions will be on your print screen. You can see here it says please print this page three times to complete one box. And you need to print it in a card, not in a paper, because you want your box to have um, stability. You need to take the time to cut out all your pieces carefully and score them. Score them so that you get a nice crease when you're doing your folding. So I've used a ruler to do mine and I just take an embossing tool and just run it down, folding it over, and then I burnish both sides. By burnishing both sides, it means that you get more movement to your box when you're trying to put it together. So I burnished, I've scored along all of the straight lines, the dark lines. I burnished them and I've put a red liner tape on this one edge where you've got the flap. Look at this lovely snow leopard. The eyes on that baby are just adorable. Now, I've already started the project so that to reduce the time of the video. So you join together all of these panels. You have six six like this to join together and all I do to join it like I say your red liner tape you can use glue if you want to but I find the red liner tape is an instant stick I line my project up I'm using this line so that I know when I put my piece down it will be square and then I'm just looking at the top and looking at the bottom hovering over because we want it to be absolutely right on see we're on that line now and we bring it down and there that's another piece in in place again bring it up to a mountain and down to a valley so that it gives more movement when you're trying to put that lid on or the base on this is the bottom of the box but you'll understand when when you see the next process so just take the liner tape off doesn't matter which line you line it up on but i always like to think if i've got it on a line i'm going to be square there we go we'll just hover over Pop that down just like so. Again, bring it to a mountain. And fold down and fold back again on yourself. You can use your tools for this, but my finger works just easily as well. So we've got all of the panels together. If you can see that. Mountain valleys, mountain valleys. There we go. So it's all together. Now to join this up, all we need to do is to flatten it out a little bit. 
peel off our red liner tape because you're going to make this into like a tube very wide tube it's a lovely big box it really is here we go and we'll just make sure that square at the top there lining it up there and we bring over this one and we just want to oh sorry about the wonky camera i've just brought this over to meet it now there we go and just press down in place that's the tall part of the base of the box done if you look inside it's got the option it gives you this paper that you can print when you do your printing put it through and do your first side and then you can turn your paper over and print again so the inside of the box is as pretty as the outside there you go right then we've got these um stars this is on one sheet you get two smaller stars and a bigger star the two smaller stars have got like a cut out in them you just need to take your knife across and they're to use on your ladder part in a few minutes but we need the base of the box now so turning the box upside down we've got lots of these flaps here and we need to try to say to the box this is the sort of way we want you to be folding so just check your folds are going in the right direction don't worry too much about the further part away I'm trying to make it so that you can see this lift these flaps because you want those to greet your top part now this is where i use wet glue i'm using a pin fair book binding glue and I'm just using a small amount just around each of the flaps. Don't go right the way round in one go. You need to take your time with this part. And gently pinch this piece together. They don't have to quite touch. Pinching it together but also feeling on the edge of that star. You'll get your position in. There we go and just hold it in place for a few minutes this is why you don't stick too many down all in one go you need to be able to move and hold just move and hold it into place right and then we turn the box around slightly we're not quite stuck there yet move the box round slightly and moving your panel into place again just give it a little squeeze and it'll go into place all the hard work's been done with this as well becky's absolutely amazing she's just wonderful the way she designs these things to make it easier for us crafters again we just manipulate our box round take it slowly and you can feel between the top there and holding between your finger there you can feel the side of the star coming in so just hold it in place until your glue's got time to take a hold and again just remember don't use too much glue too much glue is more more time needed to dry and you want quite a quick a quick grab there we go just holding it in place there turning the box round as you go does make it much easier pop your little bits of glue in and push push your panel into place see how easy it wants to fold that's because you've done that um folding it backwards and forwards the cards already knows that it wants you to move it about 
and that movement is all you need to get this into place the lovely sharp edges you know, take your time and and relax and, and it's an enjoyable project this is my third one of these now and you get 10 animals 10 different animals that you can use on this project so you spoil for choice the U the virtual usb is absolutely loaded and to be honest i'd even had the files for about a week and a half before i even found this box there's so much on there but We've got a website. If you want to go over to the Crafty Witches website after the video, please feel free to do so. And look at that. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Absolutely beautifully worked out for you. And not hard to do. Right, now we'll make the lid. I'm going to pop this aside for a moment. And we just get the pieces again. I've joined them, some of them together. <coughs> sorry excuse me I've got all of these panels come in one sheet so again you cut your pieces out this, this is what your panel will look like you cut your pieces out you score on these lines and burnish back and then I've taken red liner tape and put it to this edge each time so I'm going to join this one on let's have it up the right way using the same method a straight line and just peel off your double-sided tape or your red liner tape and pop your panels together I'm loving this digital crafting, you know, it saves so much room in my craft room. And I just print off what I want to use. And, and it gives you control, doesn't it? You know, this snap tool, amazing. I go, just join that one on. There we go. And just make sure that it's willing to fold either way I have burnished these all in front of this here we go so now we're going to take the red liner tape off of this end to make our tube again I think the longest part of this project is the preparation of making sure that you've got everything lined up right everything cut precisely and everything scored precisely there we go so we've got our tube again now this is your lid and this is the top part of the lid so again I'm going to bring in my box just to make sure that when I do my innie outie my innie and outy are going to match on my box can you see that so I want that to be like that I want that to be a start of my star I'll pop that aside again I'm wiggling around with my fingers lifting again make sure you lift these points to greet your top this is a top layer it's got the lovely snow leopard to go on the top of that and I've got that on foam pads we'll see that in a minute anyway but let's just pop a tiny little bit of glue around this Again, you're using a little bit of a squeeze there. A squeeze, a hold. Just pop your fingers on it. Just popped our fingers on just to hold it in place. Is 
It's already coming together, isn't it? Repeating the procedure, turning it around just a little bit so you can see where you're at. Bringing that one out again and pop that one in. And then I do my hold and feel the sides of the box and the sides of the star. And with this one, there you go, pop you in there. Try and think of all the animals that are on this. There's an elephant, I think there's tigers, there's just so many. A snow leopard, a giraffe, oh, and they're all baby animals. Oh, they're just so cute. There's a panda. Um, I can't remember. There's the USB has just got so much on it. Panda, tiger, a lion. Are oh, the lion cub holding holding on to its mummy's tail? That is really cute. But the artwork is just amazing. We're so, so lucky to be able to license or use Pollyanna's artwork. Absolutely a fantastic lady. I have met her once um, and so gentle. She, she always came across as quite a, a really gentle lady. Lovely, lovely people. You know, Alinda's lovely too, isn't she? Here we go. You see how quiet it can be when you're doing your crafting. It does make you quiet. It's mindful. It takes away any of your other thoughts that are going on in your head. At the minute, I'm concentrating. I want you to go in. I want you to come out. But it just happens just like that. You know, you can see it just goes together. Lift your flap a little bit. If your flaps are pointing down lift them a little bit because i think it's it's nice that they greet what they're meant to be sticking on there we go just tuck you in come on you there you go you know you want to go in there there you go you can find lots of our creations as well on creative friends uh facebook page we're on pinterest instagram and, and lots of other places you find because I surprise myself where I keep popping up but definitely go and take a look at the website it's www.thecraftywitches.co.uk and there's absolutely masses in there we help you create the magic and I've been so excited about this Pollyanna kit it is Oh, it's been worth every moment of the wait. I've loved doing it. And thank you to Linda, Becky and and Hells, who have all had input into this. You're brilliant and we love you. You bring the crafters what the crafters want. Look, here we go. Just level that off and pop you on there. How's that? So now we're ready to pop our lid onto our box. That's how simple it is to make. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. We love it, don't we? Right, let's show you the other element now. There's one more element and you do have to stick this together. You print two of these. And then you stick them back to back. You concertina them like this. So whichever way they open the box, the message will read. Now at the top of this, when I've glued them back to back, this has all been burnished by the way, you get these two little flaps, right? Now the other two stars we had, if you thread these through, you can use a tiny bit of glue again on the inside 
I always think of dressmaking when I'm doing this sort of thing because you don't want a bulge there so open your seam and that will prevent you having any sort of bulge going on love and hugs for you so this end is going into our lid you don't want to put a message in upside down that would be the sort of thing that I would do now so just pop a little bit of glue onto this it's a substantial size box I tell you if you didn't want to use this element it, the choices are entirely up to you it would hold or oh, you know those great big tins of sweets that you get at Christmas I swear it would hold one of them probably it, it's not going to be a five minute job to find something to fill it do you see that the way it finishes off the inside of that box and the other thing is you could have printed on the other side of the inside of the lid too so you because you've got this paper that I used on the inside of the box right now we're coming to the bottom they've made enough allowance look at that there's enough allowance there so that when you pull your message up you will read all of the message because this is going to be hidden by the bottom of the box isn't it it's all really been carefully thought out i love 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 it there's nothing not to love is there all the colorways work and, and the papers you know absolutely fabulous i love them all here we go just a little bit of glue either side and again dressmaking coming into play open your seam up so that you don't get any lumps we don't want lumpy seams we'll just go around the star a little bit with a bit of glue a little bit in the middle just to make sure we don't want that one keying off do we right i'm going to look at the box now and make sure that i'm going down in the right place i'm just going to stick this into the bottom of the box like so oh sorry wonky camera I just knocked you again look when you bring this up out of the box it's going to say let's pop our lid on I'm not going to be able to let you see it all because I'm so tiny that I won't be able to stretch up. Let me put the camera up a little bit. There we go. And look. Love and hugs for you. Isn't that spectacular? And a surprise element, a talking element. I hope you've enjoyed the little tutorial. And we'll see you soon, I'm sure, with lots more inspiration just look at this artwork it is just amazing it's gorgeous and we love it don't we well done all right then bye bye for now